Howdy there guys, what's going on, and welcome back. My name is Elio, just in case you guys don't know it, and in today's video, even though it's probably at least two years late minimum, uh, we're going to be deciding, uh, you know, just what is the best uh, light contract mod that you get. Now, if you guys don't know already, I have already done a RGB version of these contract mods, so if you're having difficulties choosing with that, feel free to check out that video. But let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so uh, shameless plug right here though, if you guys join the Discord or many of the MSO Discords, they have the uh, Shy Anabot, which you're free to use, it's perfectly free for everyone, uh, I do update it, but what you can do is like, especially for my Discord, the Filthy Casuals, all you have to do is come into the bot channel, type in the name of whatever mod that you want to look at with their evil one name, like for instance I have Light Valk here, and it will give you the values of that monster, so you don't have to go back and forth through the Astro Guide to check that stuff out which is what I'm using for this and uh, quick regards to the Sepper's tier list too uh, some of the values that I said was kind of off because of the bot not being updated with those sappers but I was like let's not do this again so I made sure that the values were correct for these monsters before I dove into this video but let's go ahead and talk about the light contract boys it's you know, it's something that every player come across. I see this being asked, not on my personal channel, but on other discords uh, quite often, maybe once once a week or if not, just a few times a week. So let's go ahead and put the nail in the coffin here. So we're going to start off here nice and easy with Light Valk. We can see that Light Valk is a, val is a balance type. Uh, her shock is 100% chance for one turn for her passive, and then her active is damage reduction. 50% for two turns for the whole entire squad. She's boosting, uh, well, she's uh, vouching with a uh, 31k HP, 3.1k attack, and then 2.8k defense. So stat-wise, she's perfectly fine. Uh, light and dark nat 5, there's, her stats aren't extraordinary, but they're pretty fair, especially with her being a balance type, her attack being over 3k, and her defense nearly being 3k. Pretty solid, in my opinion. However, the real issue with Light Valk isn't to say that she's bad, it's just that Light Valk is automatically just a more defensive Mon. I wouldn't really run her in PvE for the simple fact that unless you can just make her like have no orbs at all, um, damage reduction is pretty much a waste because PvE is just wave clearing. So her predominant use would just be clan versus clan or like a PvP defense team. Just for the simple fact that shock can be used as a debuff to prevent the other Mons that you're fighting from acting and the damage reduction obviously applies to the whole entire squad where they can take less damage during the fight. So that's pretty much where she stands at. So if you're kind of interested in PvP and you need a solid PvP defense mon, I'm not saying that she's the best PvP mon in the world, but that's a really great start especially for newer players that literally have nothing for the, their defense team other than like a Fire Starov and a freaking I don't know, what, what have I seen? Uh, they have like a uh, like a fire nightmare, which isn't objectively bad, but level 50 evil one mon isn't going to do anything. But moving on though, we have Light Odin over here coming up next. Uh, Light Odin is a tank type, uh, and her passive and active skill is uh, HP aggression for her passive, and then her active is adrenaline, 10% of her own HP. So... I will say that I did pick Light Odin when I first began the game, especially as a noob cake kid. I did not pick Light Odin for my casualty account though. I've had enough of Light Odin. Uh, what's interesting about her though is she's sitting at almost 50k HP. Like her HP is 48k and then her attack is 2.1k while her defense is 3k. Like her stats honestly, especially as an aggressor in itself, are pretty damn solid guys it's pretty damn solid and HP aggression I mean isn't my favorite thing in the world especially with a light mon but it is usable and then adrenaline also gives her the ability to heal the entire squad now when light Odin first came out she was top tier out of all of the all three of the uh, contract mods because they didn't um, boost or they didn't um, yeah they didn't boost uh, Valk and Arthur until after I picked Light Odin, so it was kind of like a oof when that was done. But the main problem that Light Odin suffers from now is that while aggression and adrenaline can be useful in certain situations, i.e. mainly B10 or someplace where you need self-sustain to be happening at, it's no longer ideal. Players 
newer players now, especially after, um, you know, I I want to say I made the Kaiju account maybe one or two months before the change, but newer players now have access to Dark Mona, which will supplement your Light Odin without a doubt. Like, you don't need to build Light Nike, you don't need to build Light Odin, build your Light, I mean, build your Dark Mona as your Wave Clearer, try and get another Wave Clearer in there, run two Sappers, congratulations, B10 is over. Like, you don't, you shouldn't have to rely on her heels to get you through um, B10 at that point in time if you're following guides correctly. So, I mean, her main use now, you could argue that you could use her in clan versus clan. I wouldn't use her in, in really a PvP situation unless you just had her on a super duper like sweaty set where either she's healing all the time or maybe she's on like a pugilist set or something because she wouldn't really benefit from Siphon. I mean, I guess HP gain, like I stated before, could be some type of use because she'll have a ton of HP, but really there's not just there's just not much utility with her you killed you could build her with damage but you're kind of nerfing yourself because you're preventing her adrenaline from being as potent as possible because she has less maximum hp which is kind of a weird champ so light odin at least in my concern especially after owning one is probably the lowest out of this list in terms of the um light mons that you can pick for the contract and then moving on to the bottom we have our Lord and Savior, Light Arthur. So Light Arthur, he is an attacker type. Uh, his passive is Shock 100% for one turn, just like uh, Light Valk. And then his active is Hunter 50%, and his HP is 29k, attack is 4k, and then defense is 2.5k, just about. So he's a very, very glassy boy, but even though he's glassy, he gets a job done. Now, in my opinion, I would say that Light Arthur is probably the best choice out of the bunch because of his versatility and by versatility I mean that you could use him in a PvP environment but you could also use him in other realms of the game like I wouldn't bring him into B10 because he's just gonna die in B10 but if you want it to be like a weird champ and bring him into B11 you could though technically not a wave clearer I wouldn't put it past people of trying to put him on a siphon set and having him run in there with his 50% hunter but even as an owner of a light arthur on the casualty account i think he's absolutely brilliant he can bring in cc if you need it for tower of chaos and then he can bring in some damage if you need it for tower of chaos with the hunter if you need some damage somewhere else even in clan versus clan he can bring both uh pvp it's clearly your choice if you choose to bring him in there hopefully you bring in some other light mons and hopefully you're playing manually so he's not wasted but i think he's a really strong mon and you can use him at least in my opinion a lot more than you can use the other two and like i'm not hating on light valk at all but i do think light arthur is number one in terms of my own personal choice i would say that light valk is number two and then light odin is number three because going off usage I think Light Arthur can be used the most, while Light Valk is a little bit niche with her PvP uh, orientation. And then Light Odin, I mean, enough said is about her. That's It's really nothing you can do to make her better, because I feel like she needs either an update or just a skill change. But it is what it is, you guys. Feel free to disagree with me and leave a comment below about why you chose a different Lightmon. But I would tell you, after owning Light Odin... And Light Arthur, I even have a Light Valk on my Ether account. I actually have two Light Valks. I still vouch for Light Arthur as the number one choice in terms of the contract. But I do hope this video helped, even though it was just me talking and rambling a little bit about each of these mons with making your decision. You don't have to pick the same mon for each contract. If you want to hit, uh, if you want to like flip flop and pick Odin on one, pick Arthur on this one and pick Valk on the next one that's perfectly up to you you will get plenty of opportunities to pull those mons in the future though it would be helpful of you picking those mons kind of similarly as you progress with your contracts just so you have fodder to feed to the others but as always you guys make sure you keep your light and dark mons don't feed them to each other keep them because just like how Valk and uh, Arthur got an update there could be a time where Light Odin gets an update and then all of a sudden Light Odin is number one again. And congratulations, you fed your Light Odin into Dark Odin, you played yourself. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.